story goes, a beautiful Maisa by Rav Shomel Zaman, Orbach Suchus Yogan Aleinu, just as Yard said last week. So it was getting to the beginning of the month of Nisan, as we're about to approach. And we know there's a famous Brachas, Berchus Yilonos. And there was a Jew who came over to Rav Shomel Zaman and said, Rebbe, you know there's a tree here in Yerushalayim. I'm not sure if it was in the area of Rechavia, in that area. And he said, you know, there's, there's, a, maybe there's, a, there's a hit or mitzvah, because, you know, the bracha says, Bercha is it, and, there's, and there's a yard here that has two or three trees. Maybe we'll, maybe the Rashiva would want to go there. Shalom Zaman said, my hit or mitzvah for Bercha Silonus, it sounds beautiful, and you should go. I always make my Bercha Silonus in, 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 a, in a backyard over here in Yerushalayim. There's an almana. There's an almana that looks and she sees that different people come to make a bracha on the tree in her backyard. That's my hitter mitzvah. Sometimes before Yontif, especially before Pesach, we're so, so focused on the Ben Adam Lamako, on the personal relationship between us and Hashem, but we forget about the Ben Adam Lachavero, of Shomel Zaman, was the king, was the king of everything. But the, the stories, the smile, the love that you see under Shomel Zaman's face is the hitter mitzvah, what it means to be a Jew. To show the love, to show the connection, the devotion to their Bona Shalom, but that same devotion and love to every single Jew. His hitter mitzvah, for his berchas Ilanos was making a widow happy, but making a widow on a mana special and feel important. Shaniske.